Through the pandemic, heroes have emerged. Now, most of us probably think healthcare workers, scientists, and for good reason, right? They've saved lives. But when we were staying at home, you know who also kept us alive? Truck drivers across the country. They kept us fed. They kept the goods coming as we were locked down. And now a professional driver out of Fort Dodge is getting some national recognition for staying on the road. My name is Steve Alliger. I've been driving with Decker for the last 23 years, and I've got 23 years of on the road. It's hard to miss a guy like Steve Alliger pre-checking his truck, and there's not much that gets past him. I grew up in the farming business until I went to the trucking when I was age 40. So I had safety behind me to begin with. I was able to control the vehicles and stuff a lot better and knew travel, watch out for the traffic in front of me and behind me, and especially in front of me, a mile, a half mile to a mile ahead of me or so for lights and stuff. I just keep my eyes open and pay attention. I look around quite a bit. And that attention to detail hasn't gone unnoticed. Steve is part of our million mile club, which is he's got over three million miles accident free. Uh, Steve's been driver of the year for us multiple times and Steve won our driver of the year grand champion for 2018. His grand champion accolade at Decker led to his nomination for the Iowa Motor Truck Association's driver of the year, which he also won. The Iowa Motor Truck Association recognized that, that there was something special about Steve even. Uh, they've nominated him to be uh, one of the nominees for the American Trucking Association's driver of the year nationwide. An impressive history of safe driving, Steve says, hasn't gotten easier in recent years. Some of these newer vehicles, you poke a button and the car steers itself. I've seen people going down the road without the hands on the steering wheel anymore, and that really bothers me. But yes, phones and makeup, especially in the early mornings, people going to work. And you know most of those cars, or the ones that are driving the speed limit, then all of a sudden you get a phone call, back off 15 miles an hour, and you go, why? With record demand fueled by the pandemic, this past year was critical. We needed supplies and, and, and food on the shelves more than ever. And uh, if it wasn't for those truck drivers that were out there, staying out there on the road, delivering those supplies and food, uh, we would have been on the, the edge of an even bigger crisis. If you bought it, a truck brought it. You got so much stuff going on, places to get your loads to and stuff like that. I try to stay professional, especially with the company and the shippers and receivers and law enforcement people, because you gotta be good to them as they are to you and don't get upset with them. I know people have bad days, but you still gotta get along and the next day will be better. And we'll find out this month if Steve is named the National Driver of the Year, and we'll keep you posted on what that decision is.